Hello to everybody and welcome on my channel and in this second part of the Speedy B B35 series. In the first part, I've shown you step by step how to build this sun whoop and the components I've used. So if you haven't seen the first part, I'll leave a link up here and at the end of this video, please go and check it out. In today's video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to set up the Speedy B B35 in beta flight. So let's begin. Okay, let's connect the drone to beta flight. Okay, the first thing I usually do is to check the version of the flight controller. So we go into the CLI and type version. Okay, that's a bit weird. I never seen an error coming up straight after the build. And uh, the version anyway, the version here is 4.4.2. So I believe I'm gonna flash the firmware to the 4.4.3. So to do this, we go click on act on activate bootloader DFV firmware flasher so it auto detected my board and we are on the 4.4.3 okay radio protocol on crossfire GPS LED strips OSDHT yes this shot load firmware online and flash firmware Okay, the firmware has been flashed. Now we get into beta flight. Apply custom default. Okay, when we get into the setup tab, we see the drone looks upside down. And that's because the stack and also the motors are mounted upside down. So we need to fix those two things first before we get into the rest of the configuration. So to do this, the first thing, thing we can do is to calibrate the accelerometer and reset the Z, Z axis. And then we go, we go into the configuration tab and we need to adjust the roll degrees into 180 and 7 the reboot so the controller is on the right axis now we go into the motor stop make sure the props are off and connect the battery first of all we need to select the this shot 300 and b direction on this shot agree Okay, seven reboot. Cool. Okay, if, if the P direction of this shot doesn't turn on after seven reboot, you need to go on to the ESCconfigurator.com and refresh your ESC using the BlueJ firmware. Once done that one, come back here. Turn on the build direction of this shot, 7 reboot, it should work. So now what we need to do, position your drone upright. And we need to reorder the motors and motor direction. So make sure your props are off. Connect your battery. To reorder the motors, click here. Remove the props, I understand, and start. So you need to click on which motor is spinning at the moment. Okay, and save. So now, go back here. Motor 1 should spin, yes. Motor 2, yes. 3, and 4. 
and also we need to make sure the motors spin the proper way. I'll check quickly. Okay, my motor spin to the right direction. In case you need, you have problem, one of the motors don't spin to the right direction shown in the picture here. Just click on motor direction. Click on I understand the risk, and you can choose between wizard or individually. I suggest to choose individually so you just change the direction of the motors which are not spinning the, to the right direction and save and that's it. So motors done. Unplug the battery. And then we go with the rest of the configuration. Okay, we go import tab. And this one is for the USB and UART4 is for keep enabling the Bluetooth connectivity if you want to configure the drone via the SpeedyB app. And UART2 is on and that's for the receiver. And on UART6 I got my GPS, so I'm gonna select GPS, 7 reboot. And on UART1 I have the O3 unit installed. So to install the O3 unit in this port, we actually need to go on the preset tab and choose OSD for FPV.WTF, DJI O3, Avatar HD. Click on this one. You need to choose your UART port. So in my case is display port UART1. Click and pick 7 reboot ok now if you go on the port tab yeah the OSD on the other unit has been enabled and that's it for the port tab so we go back to the preset tab as well and I usually use the TBS Crossfire 50 Hz on, on all my builds so I click this one and I do click on cinematic and make sure you follow these instructions here so on your radio you need to Disable the dynamic crossfire and choose the 50 Hz in this case since we have chosen the 50 Hz mode here. So pick 7 reboot. Okay, done. We go into a configuration tab. And then We, select, we turn on the magnetometer and leave this setup as it is. This one leave on. And we use the motors as beeper and beacon tone prop 3, 4. Then you can choose the craft name, pilot name. I'll put speedy B, B35. And arming 180 just in case, and disable soft serial OSD. I need and more than need, and the GPS U blocks and ground assistance type. I usually use auto detect. You can just use Galileo and. That's it. Yep. All right, seven reboot. Now 
now we go in the receiver tab actually in the mode tab first we're gonna set up our remote control okay in the mode tab we're gonna set up the arm switch okay arm switch down angle mode flight mode angle return to home flight mode angle okay i usually keep flight angle mode all the way down here together with the gps rescue return to home okay that's done and then Beeper. Buzzer. Here. And turtle mode. Turtle mode. Okay. I then used modes. Disarmed. This Armed. working. Disarmed. Flight mode angle. Flight mode acro. Flight mode angle. GPS rescue. Works. Flight mode angle. Buzzer. Beeper works. Turtle mode. Done. Click on save. And then we go to the receiver tab. It's already set on crossfire. We need to enable the telemetry. Here. This one is correct. We need to set the RSSI chan channel, which is AUX4 in my case. So click on AUX4 and 7 reboot. And we can see the simulator here moves by itself. So we need to set some uh, dead band. So it looks like it's on the roll axis. So we're gonna add some value here around, let's say, 10. Save. Refresh. It looks like the simulator doesn't move anymore. A bit on the yo axis. I'll put around three or four. Save. Refresh. And now it seems that the simulator doesn't move at all, which is good. Okay, we're done here. Now we go on the felt safe tab and we set the Trattle on set at usually I live on 1500 and then Hawk Street angle GPS rescue on set as well on 1700. Okay, select GPS rescue. Minimum satellites 8 and I always choose maxim, maximum altitude and then leave these values here as they are. We may change later on but we need to test the GPS rescue first. So 7 reboot. Okay, we are on the OSD tab here. So before we put our elements on the OSD screen, what we need to do is to go onto the CLI and make the screen of the OSD as big as the goggles screen. In my case, I use the goggles too. So let's do this, this first. So we go into the CLI tab and get OSD Canvas 8. And we can see here uh, the value is set on 13 
we need to change into the 20. So we write set OS the compass eighth equal 20. Enter. Save. Okay, say again on the CLI tab. Get OS the sorry. Compass width and at the moment is set. The value is set on 30 and we need it on 63. So set OS the compass width equal 63. Okay, let's set up our OSD elements. It's on HD metric, and that's it. Click on save. Okay, we go into the PID tuning, and <clears throat> I'm gonna set up the rate profile. For cinematic, I usually put on roll here on time. 1000 and 0.70 and same for this one 1000 and 0.70 and then for the year then 700 and 0.70 save thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this type of content please consider subscribing and we we'll see at the third part of this series of the speedy bb35 for a flight test and gps test too thank you for watching and see you at the next one